on real quick and just kind of clarify some things. Um, sorry for my appearance. Appearance. I did not plan this video at all and I'm probably not going to edit it. I'm just going to upload it. But some people have been commenting saying that I shouldn't think so negatively about people's questions and people's comments to me and then people offering their advice and I understand that it's not the same person asking every single time but somebody in the community posted this thing earlier today and it said that just because of a disability or a visible difference doesn't give you the right to not act like a human being towards someone so just think if your child or your mother or your dad or your brother or your cousin or whoever had a visible difference, how would you feel if somebody came up to them, even if they weren't rude, if, you, if they just came up to them and said something about their difference? And, you know, I'm not talking about the people that are genuinely nice and ask questions, but the people that make snap judgments, assume we're sunburnt, you know, it's, to me, I don't know, it just, that would literally be like going up to an overweight person and saying, hmm, you must eat a lot of donuts, or somebody in a wheelchair and saying, oh, you must have been in a car accident or something, like, you don't do that, you... There's so many people that think that that's perfectly okay to just assume that we're sunburnt. And yes, there are some people that are sunburnt. But even if somebody was sunburnt, I wouldn't go up to them and say, oh, wow, you sure got a lot of sun. I would never say that unless I actually knew that they had been to the beach and that they were not sunburnt. If I don't know you, I'm not going to ask you personal questions like that. That's none of my business. Um, and then the thing with the treatments we know that our condition is genetic. You cannot fix genetic conditions. And even if you could, the doctors that work every single day on research would have figured it out. If coconut oil was the cure, we would all be cured. And actually a lot of us, coconut oil causes like an allergy like a lot of us become allergic to coconut oil for me personally it gives me like a chemical burn depending on where i use it and it makes my skin drier so we've had this for our entire lives so when we tell you it's genetic and we've had it just assume we've tried everything we're not living under a rock you know i've had people come up to me and give me stuff and yeah maybe i'll try it if it seems promising but just and when i when i get when i get irritated talking about it i don't get irritated to the person like face to face i just get frustrated after the fact that it's every single day every day just think about that that i can't leave the house without saying that that nobody's going to say anything to me you know and it's just a constant reminder, no matter how much I try to look normal, that I'm not. Not that I have a problem with it. I just don't always like it being pointed out all the time. Um, and then I kind of also, I thought about making this its own video, but I think I'm just going to include this in here. And it's things that maybe you might take for granted that I have to think about on a daily basis. Um, or things that I don't like about ichthyosis because I do always like to positively talk about it and talk about the blessings that it's given me and all the people that I've met with it. But yeah, there is some downside to it and it's not a deal breaker. It just, it just means I have to change the way I do things. Um, but for me, the main one is that I cannot just get ready and go somewhere. Um, like, you can't just call me the morning of and say, hey, can you be somewhere in an hour? Like, maybe in the afternoon I will already be ready, but it takes me three hours to do 
my skincare routine and I'm trying to get better about just getting up and getting ready every single day just so that I can be ready but if I'm not having a good skin day or if my kids are just crazy and I haven't gotten a chance to take a shower I can't just be there and that sucks it's always been that way um and it take because it takes me three hours if I want to be somewhere at 8 a.m I have to wake up at least at five that's so early and it's not always feasible and I hate that I hate that it affects my family. Um, I hate that I can't go sit out in the sun, you know, while my daughter wants to go play at the pool. I can't do that all day. I can't, you know, if it's 95 degrees outside, I can't go for a long walk. I can go maybe play outside with her for like five or 10 minutes, but then I can't do it anymore. And I hate that. I hate more of what it does or what, what I feel like it takes away from other people. Um, and that, you know, I might not be able to give them all of me or the best version of me because of it. Um, hmm. Trying to think of what else. But that's the main one. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'll do a video later on about the five things that I hate about ichthyosis or you know some random number but just when you think about or you know think before you speak and think about the fact that you know if you're saying it to a child it makes them feel ostracized it makes them feel different and yes, you can preach all day long. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be di different. It's great to be different. It is, but not when people are criticizing and pointing out your differences constantly. Or they're not, you know, talents or whatever that make you different. It's a genetic condition that you cannot change. You were born with. And I don't know. Just think before you speak. That's all I have to say. So... See y'all next time. Bye, guys.